One in five Spanish residents is aged 65 or older, so the devastating impact of coronavirus in the country is no surprise. What's shocking is how the care system collapsed so quickly under the onslaught. Military emergency units are disinfecting premises as fast as humanly possible, as here in Madrid. But care home staff have been overwhelmed with desperate consequences. I know the majority are fulfilling their duties, they are paying attention. But listen, this has to be said. The army, in some of their visits to the care centers, have seen elderly people completely abandoned, even dead in their beds. With Madrid's hospital morgues full, this ice rink has been requisitioned to receive and store the bodies of the coronavirus victims. So infectious, even in death, that the staff are wearing full protective suits. In Italy, the latest clinic, repurposed as a coronavirus unit, has opened in Rome. Every single patient requires truly intensive care, intensive in terms of staffing and intensive in terms of equipment. And there is simply not enough to go around. A growing number of Italian town mayors have recorded video messages, angrily ordering the public to stop flouting the lockdown rules. One mayor threatens to send in the carabinieri with a flamethrower to break up a planned graduation party. The shortage of critical care capacity in the UK is being at least partly addressed with a brand new temporary hospital being created in just one week at a huge exhibition centre in London. The NHS Nightingale Hospital will comprise two wards, each of 2,000 people. With the help of the military and with NHS clinicians, we will make sure that we have the capacity that we need so that everyone can get the support they need. For the first time, coronavirus restrictions are now having a tangible effect on millions of UK citizens. A stay-at-home order has replaced the previous advisory guidance, but not everyone seems to have grasped the urgency. This grocery store here in Red Hill is about the only shop that we found open in this town. But the lockdown is far from being strictly observed here and maintaining it over what could be three or even four months is going to be a real challenge. And construction workers in particular show little sign of social distancing or other precautions. The example of this site in central London was far from unusual across the UK. But religious services of all denominations are banned. Wedding plans and baptism ceremonies are on hold. Only funerals will go ahead. This virus robs the joy from society and leaves only the grief. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Red Hill.